Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can control your Android phone on your computer now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to be notified when we upload new videos now as you can see here what we're going to do is open up our browser and type in the uh, search box at the top Chrome extensions now what we're looking for here is visor you can type it up the top here search the store as you can see here so it's VYSOR now it does have free features on it but it also has some uh, premium pro features which you have to pay for but you can use the free version and it works pretty well so all we need to do here is add this to your Chrome browser now you can also use the uh, Windows installer as well and I'll show you that way as well so we're just going to quickly click on add to Chrome and uh, add extensions and then we should be good to go from there now also you'll see once that's installed there is a little tiny tab up the top right hand side we're just going to close this part off here and you can see here up here in our uh, extensions so we can go to our three dots here and look at our chrome extensions and you'll see it's been installed here there we go so you should see visor here and it's turned on now you can also install this via uh, the software on their website and the way you can get that by clicking on that little icon at the top right hand corner and this takes you to their website or you can just navigate to their website visor.io and it will give you a download button click on the download button and then you can choose to install it on Windows Mac Linux or Chrome depending on what you want to do so you've seen the Chrome way let's just download and install it on the Windows system file so I'm going to download that and install and it'll be exactly the same for Mac and Linux it's just a different operating system so go ahead and uh, click on install now you will need to prepare your phone as well and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video now it wants to gain access through my firewall so I'm just going to allow this to go through and then we can now install the ADP driver now this is for the universal USB driver so we're going to install this here and I'm going to click on the browser and it will take me to their website and I can now download this and install it the source code button is on the right hand side here just let that download and you need to install this otherwise you're not going to be able to connect uh, via uh, your USB cable so I'm going to let that open up and I'm going to go next and install it for everyone that uses this computer. Click next again and just go through the motions here. The UAC will come up, just say yes and let that install. Okay, so we've got that bit done. Okay, so we've got the universal ADB drivers installed and uh, we will need to reboot the system now we've got all that installed to make it work okay. But just remember they do have a, a Advisor Pro version which you can check out if you want more high definition so I'm going to quickly uh, restart the system here and uh, let that driver get installed and then I'll show you uh, some settings which you're going to need to do on your phone to make this compatible okay so let me just quickly show you the phone here so when you've got your Android phone you need to go into the settings of that phone and then look for the about the phone itself and then you want to activate the developer options and you can do that by just keep tapping on it and uh, that will give you developer options so you can see I'm just tapping on there and it gives you developer options once you've done that you can see the build number just keep tapping on there as well and it says you've got one more step and it says you are now a developer there we go now we're a developer we should see developer options appear but it's all grayed out and you won't be able to touch anything until uh, you enable that developer options at the top of your phone now some phones vary it may not be there but you just need to enable developer options it will say allow development settings I'm going to say ok and now we can enable our USB debugging this is important otherwise it won't work and you won't get um, access to the phone on your computer so just enable that and you can turn it off whenever you want to so you can see here now we're going to go back to the PC and open up our application you can see it's now recognized the uh, phone we're going to click on view 
it will start to connect and it will start installing the visor APK file that it needs to uh, show you the screen display. So just let that connect up, it'll take a bit of time. Now you may get a bit of delay on this and uh, the Pro version does give you much more high definition but the definition on this one is not too bad. Now why would you want to do this? Well it's quite useful if you don't want to keep getting your phone out if you're at work and stuff like that. You can have it already plugged in and have it visible on your desktop so you can see what's going on and access it via your mouse. It's very quick and easy to do and uh, you can see here when they've got display from the phone on our computer now which is pretty awesome without any rooted access or anything like that. So you can see you can play games, you can uh, surf the web, you can do whatever you want really. Now there is a restriction here, you won't be able to do full screen uh, without buying the Pro version. So when you do full screen, for some reason the full screen worked on this when I did it, but it won't let you up the bit rate. So you can see the bit rate is fast but low quality and that's what it's set to because obviously you need the Pro version um, to do that. But the quality there as you can see is a bit grainy and that's because obviously we're not using the Pro version but for some reason it did let me have the full screen which it shouldn't have done for some reason. So you can go in here as well and you can go into the settings here you can see bitrate and also resolution, recommended settings. If you want to change any of these you will need to pay as I've said. So as you can see here you can change the screen uh, size manually by just dragging the corner and you can see we've got a pretty small size screen here. We can make it a bit bigger if you wanted to but you just got to remember the restrictions for the resolution uh, and stuff like that. You are on the lower grade without having that pro version but other than that I think it looks okay. If you're a hardcore gaming person that wants to play games uh, by doing this on your screen you may want to upgrade a little bit. Uh, with the pro version but other than that I think it is usable and as you can see here uh, you can surf the web and stuff like that you can use your mouse and keyboard uh, rather than using your phone so you can put your phone down on the side and use your uh, mouse and keyboard on your computer you can see I'm just using my mouse here and you can navigate around so it's pretty easy to do and it's really useful you can take snapshots as well you can record the screen if you wanted to so you can record that if if that's what you want to do. As you can see here, I've just took a snapshot. And of course you can record as well. So very useful. Now also uh, you can do YouTube videos. So you can, if you want to search the web for YouTube, you can do. Let me just show you. I'm going to go back here. Get out of this program. And then I'll go onto YouTube here. There we go. So you can surf web, web for YouTube and you can watch content through here. It's not too bad. Quality is OK. And uh, just click on one of these. There we go. So appropriate. There we go. And uh, when you click on that, it will start to connect. And there we go. There's also uh, every 30 minutes on the free version, there is ads that you will get every 30 minutes if you have got the free version. If you want to get rid of those ads again, you are going to have to buy the pro version, uh, which is a bit of a letdown, but hey, that's probably how they generate their money. But all in all, that's pretty much how you can uh, share your screen to your computer. Very easy to do. And I'll just quickly run over those settings for you on here so you can see them clear. So all you need to do is make sure that you go into your settings here and make sure that you're on developer options. If you haven't got developer options, you need to enable that feature. Then you can see that developer options there. Click on that and also make sure they're on as you see here and make sure the USB part is enabled. You can see a USB debugging. Now when I turn this off, which I'll show you right now, you'll lose connection. So make sure you are connected with your USB debugging because if you're not, you're not going to be able to display uh, your screen like here as you go. There you go. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. I hope this one helps you out. I hope this one has been enjoyable. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.